Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome to my channel. Breaches has been with us for a couple of weeks now and I've had a blast breaching, fragging, flashing, droning and owning noobs. One, two, three. Oh, <laughs> oh I did the same thing! What the hell? <laughs> or screwing up as you can see. You may not know this but there are currently four platforms that you can play Breaches on. Standalone on MetaQuest 2 and Pico 4 or the Steam and Oculus PC VR versions. All versions play the same and crossplay is very well integrated. So, because I'm a graphics tart, the question I want to ask is, which version of Breaches looks the best? Let's get straight into it then and remember, we're born to respawn. I am in the very privileged position to have been given early access to the Quest 2 and Pico 4 standalone plus Oculus PC VR versions of Breaches. I wanted to support Triangle Factory, the developers of this impressive game, and their problem-free launch. So, I also bought the Steam VR version of the game as well. I've already admitted I'm a graphics tart, and as all versions of the game work perfectly seamlessly with impressive cross-play integration, I just wanted to know which version is the best looking. For information, all of the footage for Quest 2 and Pico 4 was recorded internally on the headset. All footage for Oculus and Steam PC VR was recorded via virtual desktop and OBS on my PC. Again, for reference, the Oculus and Steam PC VR version footage was indistinguishable, so I've just used the Steam PC VR footage for continuity. You cannot alter graphic settings on the Quest or Pico version of the game. On the Steam PC VR options, you can crank the anti-aliasing up to 16 times, but for the purpose of this video, I've left it on its default setting. Shall we run the comparison? Are you excited? I know I am, so let's go. So which version of Breaches is the best looking? Well, as always on this channel, there is no definite answer. The obvious thing here would be that the PC VR version would walk away with the visual price, but it's so close that it's marginal. Triangle Factory have been very clever here by making all versions of the game practically identical with the PC version being ever so slightly sharper. So it comes down to this. Bear with me as this gets a bit convoluted. If you have a PC that is VR ready and a MetaQuest 2, then buy the MetaQuest 2 version of the game. Why? Well, it's cross-buy, so you get the standalone version and the Oculus PC VR version for one price. Golden. The best standalone version? It's the Pico 4 that wins here, but only because the FOV is wider and those pancake lenses give greater clarity. Apart from that, it really is a near photo finish. The Steam VR and Oculus PC VR versions are marginally sharper and therefore are the best looking. The Pico 4 version is the best standalone version, but the MetaQuest 2 has cross-buy 
Therefore, you also get the PC VR version. Breaches is a phenomenal game, and whichever version you buy has its benefits. Do you know what this is? It's a win-win for me and you. So whatever platform you own, go and buy this amazing 5v5 PvP shooter and just embrace the chaos. But... As always, what do you think? Are you a PC elitist? Are you quite happy with the Quest 2 version? Or are you hankering after the Pico 4? You know the drill. Get involved and comment down below. Righto, I'm off to dynamic breach some windows and shoot some <laughs> in the face. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side.